Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. So today we're going to be looking at some Swedish troops doing some close quarter battle. Okay, going through buildings. Uh, looks like they're going to be doing multiple sort of situations, scenarios. They've even got a civ pop into civilization. Um, civilian population have come in. I reckon there'll be some sort of casualty evacuation drills. It's in some sort of village. I don't think it's the same one that was in the... Jaeger sold that series, so it'll be interesting to see what this village looks like. Uh, but we know that the Swedish are pretty highly skilled when it comes to CQB, uh, highly professional. So let's see what they're like. Let's see what this video is like. I'm sure it's going to be really good. Check out the original video in the description as always. Check out our free Discord, Instagram, website below as well. And if you could comment, like, subscribe, I would hugely appreciate it. But let's go. What was that? The blank ammunition there. So you're always going to come up as if you're doing it, you know, in operations. Those powder ear deaths, I've said it before, so these ear deaths are brilliant. I think they're really good piece of kit. Det med Captain Hammar. Jag har truffat just nu i vissa kompani. Kompani att övar just nu i byggelse. När plutonerna tar anfallsmål, rensar byggnader och genomsöker byggnader. As you can see there as well. He's got the P mags as well, they're brilliant. So these here P mags, they're the plastic mags, they're lighter than the old traditional metal ones that the British Army used to use. So much better. And it kicks off. It doesn't look like there. He had any muzzle clearance, so that's one thing to be aware of. Very close. I can see obviously he's trying to be behind to use cover, but it looks very close when it comes to sort of muzzle clearance there. Obviously they're firing blanks, so it's not going to hit anything. Oh, someone in the basement, going to have to clear that. Nice, being aggressive. Vi sitter i byggelse. Det är viktigt att tänka på här och nu en sak i taget så man gör saker i rätt ordning så att man kan sitta på ett säkert sätt. Stig i byggelse är väldigt komplext. Det finns många vinklar. Det är mycket att tänka på. Så vi tar det momentet stegvis. Oh, we got a tunnel. Is that a tunnel? No, it's not. It's just a little mouse trap. Oh, it is a tunnel. Yeah, look. So you can see like how hard this is. Having to go through a building with all your kit on is hard enough. Climbing through windows, doors, small sort of stairs, and then you've got like sort of little tunnel systems as well. Like it is very, very tiring. It's quite claustrophobic at times when you're all trying to move through quickly. You're trying to engage the enemy as well. So you've got to understand if you're not in the military, how hard CQB can actually be. Now doing it in the dark. Då står utmaningen att tänka till på alla farliga vinklar som finns i bebyggelse. Här gäller det att eh, man täcker upp med betoner, med understöd där man anfaller med andra betoner. Eller att man har avgörat eget understöd inom pluton vid anfall. Pluton är byggnad 16. Alltså huset bort till byggnad 9. Alla kan du gå. Kom! När det är verkligt och stabil att jordskallat att byta av den. Here we go. Move quickly. Weapons obviously pointing at windows and doors at all times, just in case any sort of targets pop up. Nice. Go on. Very hard and aggressive. Not messing around as it should be. So we've got Sauna K situation, so taking casualties. 
there's always going to be a casualty in this sort of situation. They want to see, one, how you react under pressure and how can you work um, in these sort of scenarios and situations where it's quite, you get bogged down very easily. So how do you react when someone goes into a room and they get taken as a casualty? Um, obviously, you're going to leave him with the firefight and then obviously extract that casualty as soon as possible. But they want to make sure you don't get bogged down in that one room and just worry about that casualty because you still need the momentum to move forward as well. Obstacles as well. Throwing it all at them. I like how aggressive they are. So the village looks pretty decent as well. Loads of different sort of buildings, windows, entries that you can do. Dagens moment började med att vi fapade cirka ett träng för dig bort och därefter påbörjade komponent anfallet mot Mechanics gloves, they're good gloves. Min plutons första uppgift var att med två plutons understöd ta de första byggnaderna i bebyggelsen för att därefter kunna understödja kompaniets fortsatta anfall. De största utmaningarna är Definitivt att det är mycket olika farliga riktningar. Det är korta stridsavstånd och mycket saker kan hända på väldigt kort tid. Om vi inte vet att motståndaren är där så försöker vi vara så tysta som möjligt och hålla oss dolda djupen till stridskontakt. När vi väl fått stridskontakt så går vi in med aggressivitet och mycket att nedkämpa motståndaren. Jag tycker att stridbyggelse är väldigt kul. Det är mycket komplext, mycket att tänka på. Många farliga riktningar att ta hänsyn till. Samt att det är viktigt att ha en god lägesuppfattning på kompaniet för att kunna jobba i chefsbanda. Jeez, nice! Obviously you want to be counting rounds at all times because you don't want to go into a room and have a stoppage after firing one round. First of all, what an absolute brilliant sort of film um, from the guys that made this. So make, go and make sure you go and check that out in the description. Secondly, well done to the Swedish uh, guys and girls. You know, highly professional. I thought that in the series that we watched. And um, this is just a good standard regiment going out, practicing CQB. Um, they were hard, fast and aggressive, tried to keep up the momentum. There wasn't no fannying about. They were going into buildings, getting rounds down. It wasn't just one or two. It was firing enough that's going to take down that target or at least win that firefight. If someone's engaged and you suppress them enough so you can sort of move forward uh, take those rooms um, and buildings as you need to they were reacting quick to casualties by the looks of it all different scenarios going in where you have them to fit tourniquets and um, sort of first field dressings even have to extract some so some type of people happen to be dragged out as well and um, obviously that one time just be aware of muzzle clearance that looked very tight from where i am but obviously if this is on screen he might be able to have a better view um, obviously if that was live ammunition just gonna be firing into the ground in front of you uh, I have noticed though with the Swedish that you don't really wear any sort of tailored or personalised brought kit. It looks like you all just wear issued kit. In, in the UK it's quite common. People buy their own kit, tailor it, make it their own and spend quite a bit of money on kit and equipment. Looks like you pretty much just use your own. I saw a couple of guys and girls with mechanic gloves which they may have brought. Absolutely brilliant pair of gloves. So highly recommend if you want a set of gloves, go and check out Mechanics. They are really, really good. But don't see Swedish using much more. But the way, like, basically, they they, they manoeuvred with the weapons, um, moved through the buildings, very good, highly professional, know exactly what they're doing. They were fast and aggressive, uh, and they were clearing, and they were, they were basically getting the job done, um, as you would do. Obviously, you don't see all of it on here, but from what I saw on there, I thoroughly enjoyed that video, and I hope you did too. Um, let us know what you want to see next, and I'll see you soon.